Garage. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Well, food enthusiasts and adherents to continual thrill, it's time to indulge in your cravings. Let's face it, you need a respite from the daily trials and tribulations of life. Indulge in the absolute deliciousness of Colombo steaks and seafood specialties. Yes, experience euphoria. Did we mention Colombo's Italian family recipes? The world's greatest meatballs and jazz every night. Yes. Oh, yes. Pilgrim, you have discovered veritable nirvana. Don't deny yourself. Columbo's now recognized to be the ninth wonder of the world. Yes, Columbo's. That little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Columbo's. Manja Ben. Everybody, it's Peter Dills. If you've been following me here on the radio, you know I love those hidden restaurants, the unexpected gems. Recently, I discovered an unexpected gem in my beer aisle at the local supermarket. Superl Beer, yes, the beer that made sushi famous. Also goes great with steaks, chops, and even pizza. So make it a Superl Beer for your next yoga party or backyard barbecue. Superl Beer, where East meets West. Superl Beer reminds you to drink responsibly. Longo Lexus is California's premier Lexus dealer with amazing deals on over 800 new and pre-owned Lexus vehicles. Longo Lexus is the number one Lexus dealer in the western area since 1990. 30 years of great people, great products, great service. Visit us today at LongoLexus.com. Fans, join us for great racing and good times this Sunday at Santa Anita. Please note, Santa Anita and Golden Gate Fields are now offering the all-new $5 Golden Hour Double, which includes the last race from each track each racing day. The Golden Hour Double features a fan-friendly 15% takeout, and Santa Anita will get the Golden Hour party started by handing out free $5 Golden Hour double betting vouchers near Serona Sports Bar on the Grandstand Main Floor. Additionally, this Sunday, Santa Anita will guarantee $500,000 to any single-ticket Rainbow Pick 6 jackpot winner. And they plans to be here on Santa Anita Handicap Day next Saturday, March 7th, for one of America's most important derby preps, the Great 2 $400,000 San Felipe, and four other stakes, including the Big Cap and the great one, Frankie Kilroy Mile. First post time on Sunday is at 12.30, Santa Anita. Great racing and great value in a world-class setting. There you go. There we go. Ed's, not Connie and Ed. Connie would be so mad if she knew that, or no, Ted would be mad that she <laughs> if she knew about Ed. But it's so close. Ed, 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 Ted. Ed Ted and Ted and Ted and Ed. Connie and Ted, where are you going? Yeah, Connie and Ted's on Santa Monica. It's a seafood restaurant. You know, one thing I like about Facebook is that they actually, on some of their names, they'll help you pronounce the person that you're looking at. So our guest today at 8.30, she'll be calling in. It, her name is Rachel Pastor Ariz Mendy. Ariz Mendy. Wow. How's that for a name? And she's yeah. the mayor of, of the city of Sierra Madre. She'll be calling in a little bit later. And her name is Rachel. All right. $50 gift card. $50 gift card to... $50. $50. We don't fool around here yeah. on Board Country 105. If you've just tuned in and the first time listener, my name is Peter Dills. Lori Allen is here. And Lori takes over from the rest of the day from 9 to 2, playing America's greatest country hits right here on Go Country 105. How's that for an introduction? That sounds very good. You know what my first song is going to be? I bet I can guess. George Strait. <laughs> oh, okay. We're working on him. Working on George Strait before Cinco de Mayo. What? Yes. You're I, getting George Strait on the show? Yeah. Oh, that, that would be nice. I would listen. <laughs> you bet. Well, you, you have no choice. We, we, get, no va we get no vacations. <laughs> All right, Shakers, a Canoe House, Diner on Main in Alhambra, or one of my favorite restaurants, uh, Central Grill in the city of Glendale. I've got a $50 gift card, 1-866-479-1051, 1-866-479-1051. I want to say this, Lord. Yes. It's tricky to use these phones. Now, this is Dory's first day. Now, please, listeners. Be kind. Be kind. Be kind to Dory. 
1051. 866-479-1051. So Dory's going to ask you your name. He's going to, he's got to get 10 seconds to be able to type in the name so that Lori and I know who's calling. And then we will call out your name that, to tell you that you're going to be on the air. So this is a NASCAR related question because we've got the big race today um, at the, um, uh, is it Colton or where the heck is it? Fontana. Fontana. And we have a race related question. Give us a call right now and I'm going to read you the question on the air. So NASCAR related question, Fontana, $50 gift card to either the Glendale Pasadena, Glendale uh, Central Grill, Diner on Main in Alhambra, Canoe House in South Pasadena, or Shakers in South Pasadena. You can use the $50 to wherever you want. But call in now, 866-479-1051, 866-479-1051, and it is a NASCAR-related question. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know the answer, but Dory, I think Dory knew. And he they, did know. He did know. Yeah, and the, right and off the bat. He did get it right off the bat. And I'm not going to give a hint because... No, I can't. It's, oh, all right. It's not Al Unser. How's that? It's not Al Unser. It's not Emerson Fittipaldi. It's none of those guys. It's a NASCAR type of guy. All right. Um, today, March 1st. Yesterday was leap day. Did, it, did you ask anybody to marry, marry you? I did not. Oh, but I could have. You could have. Free of charge. Free. <laughs> Absolutely. Like one day. And, and, and a box of seized candy. <laughs> and a box of seized candy. Come on now. So yesterday was leap day. Does how long does that? Yes, how many? Yes. Right, how many right. Once every four years. Once Mark, every four years. So once every four years, ladies, right, your turn. Right. Did you ask anybody to marry you? Give us a call 866-479-1051. Today is National Peanut Butter Lovers Day. Yeah. So um, March first. March first. That's today. Peanut butter lovers day. The Isn't rents do. Every day. My mom used to love peanut butter on celery. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. She would yeah, love it. Love that. And I like it too. I'm a peanut crunchy kind of peanut butter guy. The creamy is okay, but I like it better. Okay, I, I have my glasses in my hands, but I think your eyes are better. Do we have any names in? Because I'm going to wait until the names are actually in. We have Lee from West LA. All right, Lee Come on, from. Do you want to try this? Lee, are you there? All right. Yeah, hello. Hi, Lee. How are you? Welcome to uh, Go Country 105. This is actually Cameron. Oh, Cameron. All right. No problem. All right, Cameron, are you a NASCAR fan? Uh, yes, I am. Which city are you calling from? I'm from West Hills. Okay, West Hills. Good enough. All right, here we go. NASCAR question. Who is the all-time leading winner of races? Not points, not money, but actual races in NASCAR history. Do you, do you need four picks, or do you think you can get it just off the top of your head? Um, Jimmy Johnson. I can't get off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's Richard Petty. Jimmy Johnson, Dave Pearson, Dale Earhart, or Richard Petty? I think it's Richard Petty. Number 43. Car number 43? Oh, oh, are you there, oh, car 43? Correct. You are right. It is Richard Petty. Yeah. Oh, all right. You know, you know what my problem is, Lori, besides that list? It's too easy. Well, in some cases, because if you're not a... I, I am a NASCAR fan, but he, Dory got it right away. Car, uh, Cameron got it right away. So, uh, And I'm thinking, that's a tough question, because I'm not too sure. But people that are into the sport... All right, but here's my... here. I'm putting my right hand over my heart. We're going to add more NASCAR questions in the next few weeks, in the next few months, right here on Go Country 105. All we have to do now is put Cameron on hold to be able to, is he still there? Okay, good. Okay, so congratulations, Cameron. Yeah, indeed. Richard Petty, over 200 wins in NASCAR. Um, Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt, only 86. So not even half as much. Jimmy Johnson, who knew? Well, you NASCAR people knew. Jimmy Johnson's home court, I guess, home field, home track, is, um, Today is Fontana. So that's where he got his start, and today will be his last race at Fontana. And so he's retiring. Hmm. Yep. All right, that's $50 to Cameron in uh, West Hills, did he say? Congratulations. I'm going to get you these gift cards out quickly. It's 50 bucks. If you want something here on our show, 866 479 1051. All right. My speech before we go to break. In a perfect world, we would just, Lori and I and David and Dory, we would just talk about best friends for an hour. There would be no commercial breaks. 
how. But that's not the way radio works, my friends. We need partners. We need sponsors. So if you have a restaurant, I mean, we, I've got a lawyer. I've got a car um, dealership. I've got a, I got TG Metzger right there out in Arcadia. That's my insurance guy, and he supports the show. I mean, you can get a mention. Not a full, not a full radio spot, but you can get a mention for as little as 50 bucks in the week. Uh, again, that's not going to be a full radio spot, but that would be a mention. So think about supporting the show, right? Diningwithdills.com, diningwithdills.com. That is my website, and you can just link in on that site, and you can see all the information about the show, listenership, demographics. But I can tell you one thing. There's a lot of people listening to the show, and there's a lot of people listening to Go Country 105. In fact, I just saw the new ratings came out for Go Country 105, and we're strong as ever. We're still the number one country music station in the United States. That means a lot. It's big. So big that we're sending, on my budget, we're sending Dory out in the rain to Fontana. Well, Alan's going to be there, too. Yeah. So we're going to have the whole Go Country morning people out there. You might not know who they are, but they'll be walking around having fun just like you. So that's that's my sales pitch today. If you guys are interested in supporting the show, we'd sure appreciate it. And it's very easy to get a hold of me. Just go to my website, Dining with Dills. Dot com, dot com. All right, when we come back from the break, when we come back from the break, um, we are going to talk about the city of Sierra Madre. That is our spotlight city. And after that, I have my dive bar of the week. And what else? Oh, I didn't really finish up on the peanut butter stuff. We'll talk about that. Plus, Lori, 10 unspeakable acts you should never commit at your hotel breakfast. They're unspeakable, but we're going to speak about them? We're going to speak gonna about speak them. We're going to speak about the unspeakable? And we're going to do it. Oh. And we're going to find out if you've done it or not. 866-479-1051. My name is Peter Dills. It's Go Country 105. Where's the best place to buy your meats? The home cooking? The Poco Butcher, of course. What's my favorite brand of beef? That's easy. It's Harris Ranch. I first discovered Harris Ranch with great steaks many years ago at their award-winning restaurant in Colinda in Fresno County. Hi, everybody. It's Peter Dills. And when I'm barbecuing at home with friends, it's always Harris Ranch beef. Their cattle are raised right here in California. Talk about local and California grown. That's Harris Ranch. Harris Ranch has been ranching here in California since 1937, delivering their cuts of beef locally. This gourmet beef is available at many fine butcher shops including Huntington Meats at the Farmer's Market and Jim's Farmer's Market in Woodland Hills. Truly, for a restaurant experience at home, I recommend Harris Ranch Beef. Always grass-raised and grain-finished. For the complete list of restaurants and butchers that carry the Harris Ranch label and cooking tips, go to harrisranchbeef.com and if you're up in Fresno County, make sure you stop by the ranch and tell them Peter Hill sent you. Hi, everybody. It's Peter Dills. If you've been following me here on the radio, you know about those hidden restaurants. The unexpected Gems. Recently, I discovered an unexpected gem in my beer aisle at the local supermarket. Sapporo Beer, yes. The beer that made sushi famous. Also goes great with steaks, chunks, and even pizza. So make it a Sapporo Beer for your next day beer party. Backyard barbecue. Sapporo Beer. East meets West. Sapporo Beer reminds you to drink responsibly. You have got to get to Gladstone, smack dab in the middle of Southern California, in the thriving little hamlet of Long Beach, overlooking the Queen Mary, Gladstones. Why? Well, seeker of wisdom, truth, and gustatorial delights, the mere fact that you, out of the world with your magnificent presence, is reason enough to revel with abandon in the freshest and most tantalizing provisions from the fertile plains of the briny deep at Gladstones. Feed your happy little fakes, mouth-watering laughter from the seven seas, clam chowder so delicious.